Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here, raking profit, sitting in front of the Salvation Army family store, getting ready to meet up with a couple of my reselling peeps. But in any event, I wanted to make a video sharing uh, three eBay myths that a lot of people believe are true. A lot of people are just getting started with an eBay business or they want to start selling on eBay and they think these things are true because people are saying it and uh, the thing is they're really not that true. You know, I've been selling on eBay for almost six years now. There were times where I was part-time, there were times that I was full-time, but in general I've seen a lot of cycles and one thing that definitely stands true is a lot of people like to talk the talk, um, but they don't really walk the walk. So I've been through the motions. Um, I've, I've, like I said, I've been selling on eBay for six years and um, I just wanna break these myths down because there's a lot of nonsense out there. So myth number one about selling on eBay, and you hear a lot of people say this is, you know, don't sell on eBay because the fees are too high. eBay takes too much money from you. And here's the simple fact, guys. Um, when you take into consideration a couple fees, the eBay fees, which are gonna be the selling fees, the insertion fees, a couple random fees, that comes to about nine or 10%, depending on what store, what plan you have. And then when you actually sell your item, uh, you have to use PayPal, that comes to about 2.9, we'll just call it 3%. So really in all actuality, it's only 13% in fees, give or take or so, uh, a percent or so. That's not really that much. You might be thinking to yourself like, you know, 13%, like every $100 I sell, they're gonna take $13 and I still gotta take into consideration my cost of goods, what I paid, I still gotta pay taxes, um, you know, I've got different, overhead for you know a warehouse or employees. I don't know what your what your situation is, but listen guys, if you wanted to build your own Shopify store and you wanted to drive your own traffic and you wanted to pay for advertising, it would cost you a lot more than 13%. For you to be able to access one, I think like one billion customers a month or something crazy like that visiting eBay, that would be a lot of money. So shut up, <laughs> it's not that much. 13% is literally nothing and you get to access this humongous network. So the fees are definitely not too high. I think the fees are too low. I mean, I don't want them to raise the fees, but they're pretty darn low. Um, myth number two is there's too much competition. You know, don't start an eBay business. Don't start, sell don't start selling on eBay because there's too many competitors, there's too many people selling. And there are a lot of people selling on eBay, uh, but that's what makes eBay. If you have a lot of competitors within your specific niche, then you need to learn and you need to focus on finding the right items, right? Some people, they sell clothing and they're like, oh, this clothing sucks, I can't make money. You know, all these items are only selling for eight or nine bucks or they take forever to sell. The reason is, is because you're probably going after the wrong brands, the wrong styles, the wrong sizes, the wrong materials. You're not, you're probably not taking really good photographs or doing good keyword research. There's a million different factors that come into play in terms of why your items are selling quick or why they're not selling quick or why you're not getting the prices that you like. But don't use the excuse that there's too much competition. Level up. Study the sold listings. You know, check out the free book down below. A hundred amazing items to resell. That's hundred percent free. That'll give you a hundred really awesome items to go out, buy and sell, and make some good money. But um, if your items aren't selling, it's not the competition. It probably has something to do with what we're doing. Photographs, your price. There's a million different things. But that's definitely a big fat myth right there that there's too much competition. And the third myth that I wanted to uh, smack off the screen right now is the fact that you can't make a full-time income selling on eBay. That's BS, that's nonsense, that's garbage. There are thousands and thousands of people who are literally making a full-time income right now selling on eBay. And to go a step further, there's freaking thousands of people making money selling full-time on Craigslist, on Poshmark, on Amazon FBA, like on Shopify. There is so many opportunities out there and eBay is one of those great opportunities as well. You know, I started with eBay, that's what I did. That was my stepping stone and now I do a bunch of different things. But eBay is what allowed me to really go full time and be able to make enough money to move out of my parents' house and save up and invest in different things. So. Um, Really, uh, you know, just look around. There's a million YouTube channels out there. Join some of the free Facebook groups. Um, I'll link some of them up down below. But there are thousands and thousands of people who are making it happen. Don't listen to me. Go check out other YouTube channels. Go check out the free Facebook groups. Trust me, it's happening. If you're not able to make a full-time income, it's probably because you're lazy. That's number one. Or number two, you haven't found a creative way to be able to find enough inventory to sell. 
you know, you might live in the middle of the desert. You're obviously not going to have a ton of thrift stores and garage sales. So in that case, you might have to do online arbitrage or you might have to uh, maybe move to Amazon or you might have to find a creative way to source a bunch of inventory to sell on eBay. I don't know what that is for you. Maybe it's eBay drop shipping. Um, <clears throat> but if you're not making a full time income on eBay, it's all you. Don't blame anybody else because there's thousands of people out there doing it. I've done it. Uh, I can name like a million people right now who are doing it and uh, it doesn't take like a rocket scientist uh, or a brain surgeon. It just takes hard work. It takes the right strategy. And uh, again, back to that word, hard work. Um, eBay takes quite a bit of effort. It takes time. If you want to make a full-time income, you're going to be putting in at least 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 hours a week, depending upon how hard you want to grind, but it's possible. Don't use the excuse that you can't make a full-time income on eBay because that's nonsense. Um, so yeah, those are the three myths. Uh, fees are too high. That's so wrong. Try to open up your own website and, and do everything and run the marketing and you'll see how quickly that fee goes way, those fees go way above 13%. There's too much competition. Yeah, there's competition, but there's enough out there for everybody. Trust me, there's so much abundance out there. And number three, you can't make a full-time income. Just look around. Join the free Facebook groups. Uh, take my word. Take the word of other YouTubers. Trust me, there is plenty of money to be made from thrift stores, garage sales. The list goes on and on. So go out there, crush it, make it happen. I've got faith in you. I know you can do it. Believe in yourself, and uh, yeah, go make it happen. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.